Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you where the fuel pump driver module is located, or FPDM for short. So you'll just take out this little screw here. Uh, there's also kind of like a little pull-down pin that's located right about here, and you pull down on it, and it will pop off. And so once you get the carpet uh, kind of pulled back, you'll see it in here. This is on the driver's side. And in short, a fuel pump driver module's job is to be like a stoplight to tell the pumps when to provide fuel and when to stop providing fuel on our returnless fuel system that these come with. So here it is back in here. It's just this black box. So you can follow the cable up to it. And to remove it, it's quite simple. You're just going to pinch right on uh, the connector here to unplug it. And so uh, once it's unplugged, you can take it out a number of ways. Take the whole bracket off if you want to. That's probably the easiest way just to bring these out here and then uh, further break it down once you get it onto a workbench. But uh, I wanted to open it up and show you what's inside of it and uh, explain some different options. And basically, you're going to upgrade your fuel pump driver module uh, if you're staying returnless as a fuel system. And as I do recall, the part number is the same on the GT for all of these, um, as well as the Cobra. But uh, basically, these can start to overheat if you have a boost to pump. And I have a video for that in the video description that I'll put. Um, and so uh, you have a few options to either upgrade this or to run two of them together. Some people will do that. But taking the cover off, you can see it's uh, not too complicated in here, just a few little electronics, but uh, this is what it looks like. And what I have in my 2004 Cobra with the boost to pump, I'm running about 600 horsepower, and um, I have what's called a modified fuel pump driver module. And so I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side picture what those look like, but this is what some of the components look like inside of it, uh, just to give you a good look at it. And so there's some companies out there. One of them is Black 306, which is what I have in my Cobra. And so basically Black 306 uh, takes the fuel pump driver modules and upgrades them. So a stock system runs a continuous, you know, 18 amps, uh, the black 306 will let you run continuous 26 amps and even short bursts of 30 amps. So if you're remaining with the returnless fuel system that's in the car and doing that stop and go action where it's telling the system to go on and off, uh, this helps it from overheating. So here's what it looks like, the booster pump, the, the red box. And again, I have a video for that uh, that I'll put in the video description just to kind of show you uh, what it looks like and uh, how to wire it up. Now, I decided to go with the Black 306 one because it was as simple as unplugging it and plugging the new one in. You can piggyback two of them together, rewire all that. There's kits to do that. Or also, I do have a video showing how to change from a returnless fuel system that will bypass a lot of this. You won't even need the FPDM anymore as you go to a return fuel system. So anyway, I'll put a link to those videos in the description as well. But just wanted to show you real quick what this was. And basically, a fuel pump driver module is driving the fuel pumps. And uh, once you add a boost to pump and you're trying to get more fuel to your engine because you've upgraded the supercharger or added a supercharger, then that's when you would have to upgrade the fuel pump driver module or the car could go into a limp mode or start to cut out. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, put in the comments what system you're currently running. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And thanks for watching.